Hi, I'm Dr. Lavise Ward. I teach English at Wake Technical Community College in Raleigh, North Carolina. Teaching world literature, especially the older texts, some of which date back 3,000 years or more, can be difficult even under ideal circumstances. However, teaching a 16-week semester of world literature from the Epic of Gilgamesh, 3000 before Common Era, to the 1600s, the Common Era, in a five-week summer session is really a challenge. Additionally, I am teaching online via Blackboard. So I do struggle with finding a way to make my class and the ancient literature in the course come alive for students. By offering optional weekly meetings in Second Life on the North Carolina Webby Island provided by the Community College System for faculty and student use, I have found a way to engage students in the study of some of these great ancient texts. Each week the class meets in Second Life at the Student Center for a mini lecture on the major assignment for the week and a question and answer session on the readings of the week. I also try to plan some type of activity that encourages student participation such as readings, dramatizations, or field trips in Second Life. In this video for our third class meeting this summer Two students from the class, originally both from China, offered to read one of the poems from the Classic of Poetry, which is a collection of lyric poems dating from around 1000 to 600 BCE from the Chu era in China. The two readers chose the poem Cheng Su Please, which represents the pleas of a young maiden to an ardent, ardent suitor. The use of agrarian imagery helps convey the social customs and expectations of this distant time. I'd like to welcome everybody. Thanks for coming in tonight. This is meeting number three. We're halfway through our, our first summer session. Can anybody believe that? I don't know about you, but I certainly can't. And it's wonderful to see so many of you, and thanks for, sh for signing up as well. We've got two things we're going to do tonight. We're going to work on a little bit with mini essay two. And we're going to have a reading from the classic of poetry. So if everybody sits down facing me, just like you are, just sit on the ground, except for our two guests from ancient China. Our first guest, the lady, is Tsai Kai. She's reading from a language that's how many thousand years old? What, what did we say? 2,000 years old? I'm more than 2,000 years old. More than 2,000 years old. And she did tell me in, in an email, well, the language is kind of old-fashioned, a little hard. And I thought, some of us cannot even read Shakespeare. And that's like maybe 500 years old, right? So I will now give you a reading from the classic of poetry. And it's one of the poems that we had assigned for um, the readings this week. Good evening, everybody. My name is Xiao Hang. And the lady on my left is Tai, and we'll be reading the poem from the classic poetry, Changzu, please. And Lady Tai will be start with the first verse for us. Lady Tai, if you please. Qiang中子,Qiang中子西,不与我理,不折我竖起,其感爱之,为我父母,中可怀也,父母之言, Yikawe 人之多言亦可谓也 Excellent. That's very impressive that you can read such an old, old poem. Thank you so much. I appreciate both of you making the effort to add to our understanding of Chinese poetry. Now, how many people understood that? Chat yes if you understood every word. 
I'm seeing the clapping. <laughs> Thank you for clapping. Everybody gets activity points for clapping. I love I love the whistle. Very nice. I'm so impressed. I mean, I I can read old English, which is my native language, but that's only like less than a thousand years old. Um <laughs> I, I can read Greek, and it's still not as old as what you two just read now. Again, thank you all for coming to the NC Webby Island for the Week 3 meeting. A special thanks to our two guests from the Chinese court, Lord Shahong and Lady Xai, who read for us. Best of luck with writing mini essay too. Please post any further questions about this assignment on the blackboard in the discussion board. Have a great weekend. Until next time.